All right, she is the only women's boxer in history to hold world titles in three weight divisions. Now, boxing superstar and Flint native Clarissa Shields is preparing for another fight at Little Caesars Arena. The two-time Olympic gold medalist is jumping two weight classes to fight for the women's heavyweight world title belt in July. And joining us today ahead of that big fight is Clarissa Shields herself. Thank you for being here today. Thank you guys for having me. And you brought the hardware to display. We love seeing this in person. Just a little bit. I got I got 15 <laughs> belts at home, but I just thought bringing yes. a little gold Takes medals up less today. space. Yeah. All right. So tell us how you're getting ready for this. Jumping two weight classes. Yeah. That doesn't sound easy. No, it's not. It's definitely a sweet science to it. So I have to gain a little bit of weight. I have to keep my speed, but gain strength, you know, um, and that can be challenging. So I'm benching 185. I'm squatting 250. I'm pushing. I'm pushing cars. I'm punching bags. <laughs> like I'm getting very, very strong. Like like my hair is covering up my muscles, but if I throw it to oh, the we back, see them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot going on yeah. right here. So I'm gonna cover that back up. <laughs> but I am getting very, very strong for this fight. And um, to be fighting at Little Caesars Arena again in Detroit, D July 27th. I got a tough opponent in front of me, Vanessa uh, Jonas from Canada is she just got the world title. Mm -hmm. She's tough, she got a hard head, she likes taking punches, she likes to go to war, she don't mind getting bloody. So I have to have some power to keep her off of me and get her respect. So I'm looking forward to seeing what all she brings July 27th. Well, tough opponent or not, you've got Michigan completely behind you, rooting you on. How does that feel for you? And also, if you could just tell us about your journey and how you got to this point of success. Oh, well, we're talking about a long journey. You want me to, where, where, where you want me to start? <laughs> I started boxing at the age of 11, um, won my first Olympics at 17, won my second Olympics at the age of 21, and then I turned pro and I was one of the first women in history to fight on premium cable, um, on premium cable on Showtime. So fighting with Showtime, like that picture there, I didn't even know how to wear my hair yet. You know, um, there I fought at 154 pounds, the lowest weight class that I've been at. I've just turned pro and I just decided I want to fight the best. So by my fourth fight, I was fighting for a world title here in Detroit against a girl that was undefeated from Germany who was 16 and 0 with nine knockouts. And she said she was coming to knock me out and she hadn't watched film on me or anything. She was gonna come over and knock me out and I wasn't worthy to be in the ring with her. So starting from my first world title fight to now, Detroit, Flint, Pontiac, Vegas, everybody has shown up and gave me so much support. Can't forget about Ohio. Like they have came and so, shown so much support. So when I fought, I mean, I just kept building myself up and knocking these champions down at 154, 160, 168. Now we're at the heavyweight division where I skipped 175 and went straight to heavyweight. And I mean, like, um, I'm just, I'm just fighting the best, taking the biggest challenges. And I mean, to be able to, how many people can say, oh, Little Caesars wants me to come fight, at, right. come fight at their venue? Like, I get the chance to say that twice now. And the first time we had 12,000 people in the venue, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and now this time we are, you know, we are expecting to break the record of 18,000 people at Little Caesars Arena to show up for a little, just, you know, a little black girl from Flint. So I'm excited. I'm happy for it. It's been a long journey, but it's been just a journey of kicking butt. And um, I've been enjoying it. It's been a, it's been a fun journey, and um, I haven't lost. You know, I'm the greatest woman of all time. Not the, not just in the chain, but just period. And um, I want to fight everybody. There's a girl out there who you think can beat me. A hey, call her and tell her I said, come on and come, <laughs> come on and come see me, because um, I want to give her the opportunity so I can show all these girls that I'm the best. I'm the one, and that Michigan produces the best athletes in the world. We love to see it, and and the whole state is behind you. I know you see that every time you go out in public. Yeah. A lot of fans out there. Uh, you told us how you prepare mentally. You're lifting heavy. You're trying to put that weight on. How do you stay in the game mentally, especially when you have a tough opponent coming up like you do? You know what? When I go back and watch my old film, I'm one of those people that's like, I'm my biggest opponent. You know, I'm my biggest opponent. Yeah. So it's like, it's me versus me. So even though she's tough, she's not great as me. I had to prepare like. I prepare like I'm getting ready to fight against another Clarissa Shields, like an AI version. <laughs> That's what I do. Love that. So um, I go back and watch my old film, and, I'm, and, and I look and say, well, look, you messed up here. You did this. You did that. You dropped your hand here. Um, you got caught with this shot. So my next fight, I won't get caught with the same shots. I won't get 
um, you know, make the same mistakes. And I build off of that. So, and then with me not to overlook my opponent, but she's a heavyweight. I'm coming from middleweight. So I have to put on the pounds. I have to put on the muscle and I have to still put on the muscle and be able to move how I move at 160. So it's called the sweet science for a reason. And I'm learning it. Like we're six weeks out from the fight. I'm still sharp. I'm punching hard, but I plan to be benching 205 mm. by the time the fights get here. I plan to be squatting 300. So I got some work to do and I'm not taking um, Vanessa lightly. You know, if she, if she comes and she want to bang it out with me in Detroit, I'm going to bang it out with her and I'm going to be the one standing there with my hand raised when it's all said and done. You'll be ready. All right, we are very short on time, but I do want to ask since you are here, you said any woman you'd love to, to be challenged by, but not just women. You also famously challenged Jake Paul recently to a fight. Have you heard any response and does the offer still stand? The offer always stands for Jake Paul. Like, look, I got a lot of respect for Jake Paul, but when it comes to boxing, he's not a better fighter than me. He can't be. I have 18 years under my belt. Yeah. He has a few YouTube fights and Tommy Fury under his belt. Who Tommy Fury beat him? <laughs> Fair, you know? But it's like, when it comes to actual boxing, I know they talking about some old men and women, this and that. Skills, pay the bills, and power knock them over. And if, if there was ever to be if, if, if there was to ever be a woman versus a man fight, it would be, I would be the woman who they would choose to go represent the women. And that's fair to say. But um, it'll never happen, but it's always on the table. If Jake Paul or Ryan Garcia, any of those smart mouth guys want to come and try me inside the <laughs> ring, I got enough muscle right here to show them why I'm the GOAT. And, um, I'll, and I'll shut their mouths so. up. Yeah. We believe it. You are an inspiration to so many. Two-time Olympic gold mes medalist, Clarissa Shields. Good luck training. We will be watching. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming by today. Of course. Thank you guys for having me. For sure. We're rooting for you.